record of the person's actual name. They would have been probably around when like your grandparents Ooh. were around. But the last record of them is they were yeeted out to the edge of the solar system and beyond. What? And they, no one's sure if that actually killed them or not. Ooh. Um, some of the descriptions included this shadowy entity. A lot of people got hurled into space in the 50s. <sighs> God, that was like their go-to. Yeah. There's not much information about powers were they were associated with but you do find possibly working with glider you find a couple of articles and maybe there's like this grainy picture where you can see something that looks like one of the hands except for this one it's like almost like it's angrier more monstrous or oh. evil yeah oh. so there aren't even details about where exactly it was yeeted. It was just, ye- oh. Night Rider is just taken somewhere very, very far away. Do not engage. Do not, like, he's surrounded by those spikes that they wanted to build around nuclear waste sites. Like, there is nothing good here. Yes. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. That's interesting. I don't think it catches your attention until you see, like, the picture. And can can I just can I just get a plus freak roll? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's. I am leaning over your chair, looking over your shoulder. Also. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I rolled. I don't know if this is good or bad for this, but I got a six plus two, so an eight. You get that sensation, like that. There's that hand on your shoulder again. Mmm. I turn and it's just you. And I'm like, oh. Oh. <laughs> Except my hand was on your other shoulder. Yeah, so I turned to the wrong side. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. You know how, like, all those times that you've tapped into the power you use those shadow worms, it, just, it feels good. Yeah. You can do There's so much you could do with it. Yeah. You just get the thought of. You could do a lot. Oh. You could become great. Okay. I shut the database thing down. Like, I just turn it off. I kind of step away. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey. Thank- hey. Thank you. Um. Hey, no worries. Clyder, would you like to roll to pierce the mask? Oh yeah, no, I am I am like I'm doing the very like masculine presenting like it's fine. It is not it's fine. fine. Yeah, I it's, know fine. it's not fine. Yeah, it is not um, fine. It is absolutely incorrect. Roll plus mundane. Yeah. Yes, it's my good score. Ooh, that's a ten. Oh yeah, you got me. Dead to rights. On a ten plus ask three. <laughs> three? Oh yeah, my gosh. You get okay. you get to you get yeah. to, to interrogate yeah. my brain. When you pierce someone's mask, yeah. see the person beneath, roll okay. plus mundane arm, 10 plus ask three. Okay. Yeah, this is so much fun because I've been actively taking moves from the uh, legacy playbook to kind of role play out the fact that like Marcus is, you know, trying to connect with like the family legacy and everything. So to have this show up is like shaking, shaking them absolutely. I definitely know... What do you intend to do? Like, what are you going to do now with that information? And with what are you really planning? Can I spin that into, like, why were you really, like, why are you really looking into this? Yeah. What's going on here? Is something else going on here? And how can I get your (laughs) character to feel better about this situation. All right, so the first one, like, so with this, I think when my powers come back, there is a determination, uh, like, in Marcus's eyes, of as soon as the powers come back, I'm going to keep trying to use them. Like, this has not deterred him in the slightest. This is more so like, if this is something that I'm tapping into, 
I would rather choose to do it than have it happen to me involuntarily. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Like, I'm not going to spend my life hiding from this power. And then, what was the second one? Because that one was sounded interesting. It's like, what are, you, what are you really planning? But I'm spinning it into, like, why did you look into this, really? Marcus would never say it. But it's because they are getting literal, like, hand on the shoulder, like, warm, like, yeah, sort of, like, vibes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I gotta know more. Like, I might be diving into something dangerous. But more importantly, you you get an understanding in Marcus's eyes that he will not be telling his dad. Oh, yeah, we're not telling your dad. <laughs> yeah, like, he... No. no. And the last one is, how can I get you to feel better right now about this? The reckless part of Marcus is, like, I want to go throw things at walls with my powers. Oh. But uh, since we have both decided, like, not to do that, and Marcus is, you know, actively trying to be, like, the the model Paragon hero, I think underneath that is, like, more than anything, just, like, I want to spend time with the people that care about me, and I want to not, like, I want this line of thought to end. Like, I want to revisit it later when I'm alone and other people don't have to see me, like, struggling to figure out what I want to do. I get all of that. Yeah. It's a lot. And I'm just like, hey, you know what? That's kind of a stretch. I mean, that was so long ago, and there's, like, no information about any of that, and, like, anyone who was around who, like, mattered there would have been more information and right there's also like hoax villains also that was so long ago i you know i mean it's an idea but i don't know i think it's just your psychic powers i think it's just kind of the natural next step like i said but okay. you know what this is too much sitting around for me I can't. Yeah. I cannot. I can't sit. No, I've, I've asked a lot of you, and I, I appreciate that. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's great. I enjoy helping. I'm glad I could help. We should go to the park and walk around and feed the ducks, get some sun, and... Oh, there's an arcade! Could go like axe throwing or like there's yeah, yeah like we can do regular stuff. young adult activities regular activities yeah we can just we can go through the park it connects to that cute little like um outlet all the shopping centers all this mm -hmm. there's lots of stuff down there there's the arcade yeah we could just go wander and find stuff to do and like enjoy this day off and get out of the stuffy library and walk around. I need to yeah. walk around. I am so sorry. I need to be moving. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, that's fine. Let's, let's go, let's take a walk. So I think we walk and I, trying to change the subject and change your mind. Do you change back into civilian clothes? Or we've been in civvies. Yeah, we've been in, we've civvies. Been in civvies. There's no point in putting on super outfits. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. I am definitely yammering about old superheroes that are on not anything related to the Night Render, but just yeah. like yeah, the fifties were were nuts. You know, there was so much like nuclear experimentation, and so people were really like popping off with weird stuff. And uh, there were all those space battles, and I'm just I'm filling the silence. Yeah. I fully yes. appreciate it. Like, I think Marcus is just sitting there, like, finally, like, a lot of tension as they were leaving, as he was leaving, and just finally, like, just hearing you talk is at this point kind yes. of comforting. <laughs> so he just, he just lets you yammer about the space heroes and kind of pops in every now and then, like, oh, I heard about three arm guy. It's a real shame what happened to him. Because before that, he was four arm, four arm guy. Before that. <laughs> But, I mean, he, he sacrificed it for that entire, like, society on yeah. a little exoplanet. So everyone was, like, pretty... And he got, like, the robot. Like, it wasn't an arm, which is, I get why he changed it. Like, it's sort of like a amphibious yeah. sort of wing thing. Uh, speaking of amphibious, Mr. Amphibious. So this was this was in, like, the 70s, I think. I think he was the second Mr. Amphibious. And it's just... I, I am just 
telling you fun, uh, no, I'm, I'm fun on anecdotes from my fangirl years that I have absorbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, like I kind of shoot back. I'm like, so if you had to pick a weird animal themed costume, what animal would you choose? Oh, I really like shorebirds, like all the different types. Um, they're just uh, there's one there. They're the um, they're called uh, ant pitas, and they're just little and round and fast, oh. and they just go. and And I don't know how that would work for like marketing or, or a symbol or anything, but they're just they're fun to watch. We used to um, go to the East Coast. They're so cute. <laughs> huh. They're kind of like a round road run. Yeah, and they just the waves the waves go in and they run and then the waves come out and they run back and forth and it's really cute. I don't know if that counts as weird. <laughs> no, no, I like it. I think it works. You're gonna laugh, and I promise it's not like it. It just feels right for me, I guess. So everyone talks about birds and like obviously my whole family and whole organization is all about birds. But if I had to pick, I think a scorpion would be really fun. Yeah. Like, you get to be kind of asymmetrical with it. and Yeah. And then, like, you know, you can kind of stylize it. You can kind of decide, oh, do we want a stinger arm? Or do we want, like, a claw arm? And Or you can just do, like, the, the stinger thing is on the back. And it's, like, a tech piece that you have going. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do. And then if you want to make it, like, not villainous, you kind of round out the features. So it's sort of like a... Like a fun mascotty type of scorpion. Yeah, and then I don't know. I, I but there's like armor. Like there's armor with that too. Um, also, scorpions glow in UV light, so then you get to add all the colors that you want and be like black light. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I need to think of something better then. Oh, they do what now? Scorpions glow in the dark. They glow in black light. That is a that is a science fact. Oh, that's important for whenever there's scorpions in my <laughs> boots. That's fact. amazing. Another fun science fact is um, radiation does not glow green; yep. it glows blue. Oh, oh yeah, it does. It um, I know from the 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 ball experiment where they're like, we will prop this open with the most measly tools available, and I'm sure nothing bad will happen. And then it plopped down and immediately irradiated three people super hard. I forget what that experiment was called but i know they really messed up because they were like propping it open with like metal tools and they should not have been doing that oops maybe i was thinking more like my favorite animal uh oh but for like superheroing oh man i mean there's a lot of weird sea creatures too like like you could mm. be like an anglerfish and have like a lantern but also oh. like teeth but that could be asymmetrical too so you could have like a big tooth arm situation I think it'd be fun and this is like nothing to do with my powers I just saw it once when I was a kid I think it'd be fun to like have my powers come from like a haunted lantern or something I don't know it was like some dead like lighthouse keeper and he's like my ghost will live on and I can like shoot beams of light like I think that'd be cool oh yeah like a like a haunted lantern like an artifact yeah like something that you would hold in your hands and then I don't know like gives you powers and stuff that'd be cool yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Checks pocket <laughs> surreptitiously. Yeah, I don't notice. I, we, yeah, I've already, I've already said I don't notice. So I'm like, I'm just, just like, I'm smiling again. Like I think I'm finally like able to leave that stuff back yeah. in the room. You might not notice the checking the pocket. I feel like you might notice the change in tone. Yeah, no, I, I noticed that, but I think it's more so like, oh, maybe. Maybe they don't, maybe she doesn't like artifact powers. Like ghosts? And so I kind of think about it for a second. I'm like, no, I, like, is it, are you scared of ghosts? I shouldn't, like, I know, like, they're kind of real now because people can summon them and stuff. Oh, no, like, that's just super rare and usually is more of a villain thing. But there are, you know, there's. Oh, yeah, I guess they do, like, evil science. But I mean, there are the, like, the beacons who have their little light orbs. Those are cool. Yeah. They're in space doing their thing. So there are, mm -hmm. like, objects that can, you know, facilitate superpowers. Superpowering? That's not a word. No, not. I, I, maybe. Yeah. 
But he, no, but being like haunted lighthouse keeper powers, like that's a look. Like that's that's kind of a vibe. Yeah, no, you can really like go go in. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, mentally, I'm like. Am I haunted? Oh no! I'm like, oh no, oh no. Yeah, no, I'm like, I'm like humming to myself. It's like, I'm like, maybe I, maybe I want a different costume. Maybe if like this turns out to be a thing, I want it to reflect me. I want to have a different costume and like the scorpion and like the the haunted stuff. I'm like, hmm, there's there's something floating there. So I'm just like percolating costume ideas in my brain while you're freaking like, out. Is there a ghost in my body <laughs> right now? Oh, no. Oh, and I'm like, no, goodness. no, no, no. I would know. <laughs> I'd know by now if I was haunted. I, I say to myself, not out loud. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 That'd be so funny if you said that out loud, though. I'm super not haunted. What? That has nothing to do with anything. Who said that? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't think you're haunted yeah, either. Yeah, no. Oh, hey, we're at the arcade. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do one of the rhythm games. I used to do those a lot as a kid. Oh, I love that. I don't know if I can do those slow. Ooh. Oh gosh, yeah. Like, what if? Is that like? What if like we can think of it like a like a power challenge to like be really under control? I don't know. Yeah, like like a really steady one. Okay, we could try. Do Do you want to know something? You want to know something that's a little, a little messed up, little Maybe. little villainous of me? I, I cheat at skee ball. Oh. Every time. It's <laughs> it's so easy. It's like two inches to the right. And I already know the right throwing technique. Oh, Nobody no, suspects I'm a thing. Hero Institute. I'm calling them right now. They're gonna <laughs> Oh um, you, you can't you can't you can't tell my dad that I cheated skee ball. He gave me the responsibility <laughs> speech. No, that's fun. No, it's he has given it to you at least once. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fun. No, actually, you can also cheat on the Wheel of Fortune one because it will only land on certain ones. You're landing on other ones. I may have spent a very long oh. afternoon just playing that one time, and I kind of figured out the pattern. <laughs> so. Oh, that's cool. So you, you're like guaranteed to win it every time. Yeah, I mean, it takes a while, but yeah, let's let's try some 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 uh dancing though yeah all right and i I head over to the little rhythm game thing yeah so you just spend the evening playing around at the arcade just having a blast yeah forgetting about everything as much as you can i'm gonna forget devastating news about my terrifying backstory you don't know what connection there is, though. You just know, like, in what you were researching. Yeah. That was all you could find. Right. Like, I found something, and wasn't a good time, so we'll see. I am burdened with knowledge. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do y'all do the following day? Because, like, you can still, like, go to classes and sit in on classes. Oh, yeah. You just can't, like, go and do like challenges and overexert yourself i think we had the fire was on a friday because we were like yay we did it we did the big thing let's go get pizza and then saturday we had to lay in bed all day and this was like sunday yeah so i think it's monday Mm -hmm. now so we could go to class yeah Hmm. okay yeah go to class check in at a clinic to see hey can i super now (laughs) <laughs> Am I allowed? Are my lungs better? What happens when y'all go home, though? Or do you go home, or do you st- sleep at the Institute? Uh, I think I'm gonna stay at the Institute. I have a lot of thinking to do, and I don't really want to talk to my dad right now. Uh, yeah. same? Not your dad, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad that you also uh, feel a twinge of discomfort talking to my dad. Yeah. But I think... Like, we have a great day, and it's fun. And, um, but I think I I do go back to my dorm, and I just close the door, and I just have a moment, and it's just me, and I'm, I'm just like, oh, he's definitely got some kind of villain powers. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. What does it mean? Genetics are so weird. It could be, like, like, whatever that thing is, like great great nephew or something 
It doesn't mean anything. It's fine. It doesn't mean anything. And then I kind of, like, get a, not rueful, but just kind of concerned expression, and I pull out the, uh, the stopwatch. It's just a, a very old vintage, you click Mm. the top, stopwatch. Runner's stopwatch? Yes, a runner's stopwatch. Yeah. And... I just kind of toss it on my little twin bed that lands in the middle. And I'm just like looking at it suspiciously. Mm. And I, I kind of walk over closer and I'm looking at it. And it's obvious, it's not doing anything. <laughs> it's just a, a, it's just a stopwatch. <laughs> Come on, yeah. do something. I was about to say, would you like to like, do you want to roll? Ooh. <gasps> Since you are very intensely scrutinizing, would you like to assess the situation or straight up creep? Yes, I'd love to assess this just a little bit, see what happens. Mm -hmm. What are assessing on? There's definitely something about it, so roll with superior. Oh no, oh no! I got a four. It's just a weird stopwatch. You get nothing from it. Mm. But you're like, 85% 85% sure it's not haunted. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm like, no, it's not haunted. There's no way it's haunted. Because it's... No, it's not. Because I, I do the thing where I, I turn my back on it and I walk, like, as far as I can to my little closet. And it's not a big dorm, but I walk all the way to the closet and open the door, step into the closet, and it's just far enough that I reach into my pocket and... If the stopwatch is back in my pocket. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm sure it's fine. I step back out and I <laughs> close the door <laughs> and I chunk it back on the bed. And then I'm like, okay, but you would have to tell me if you're haunted. Like, you would have to tell me. <laughs> Those like, are the rules. Cool. It's been a while. You'd have to tell me if you're haunted. You're not haunted. No. You're not even alive. So. Yeah, I'm just crazy. Cool. I'm just crazy now. Awesome. I love this. I love oh, talking no. to myself in my room alone. Great. I'm gonna go to the cafeteria and eat a bunch of ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the night passes uneventfully, and but when you fall asleep, you do dream of becoming possessed by your stopwatch. Oh no! No, no! No! You wake up the next morning and everything is fine, but you do definitely have dreams where you're being possessed by your stopwatch. Oh my god. Devastating. Oh gosh. But it's probably a mix of you couldn't get it out of your head and then ate too much ice cream and didn't. You have it burning yeah. off the energy like you normally do, so you had. It, it was. It was a weird dream. Was that the. Oh no! Food nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I've been fooded. It's like when you eat like spicy food before you go to bed yeah. and you have weird dreams. Exactly. Yeah, basically, yeah. Cool. So, what about for Marcus? So you go back to your room. Yeah, I'm staying in my dorm, and I'm kind of actively. I'm not going to use my powers because I know, like, I'll just hurt myself right now. Because I, I, I already know that like, it drains me to do so. But I do kind of just stare in the mirror and I kind of whisper outward a little cautiously, Night Render? Do you want to roll to pierce the mask? Ah! Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Um, I rolled a... I just got a three. You don't have anything to be afraid of. You don't have anything to worry about. Whatever this weird manifestation of your powers is, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. You're just powerful. Yeah. Take a big breath, and I turn off the lights, and I uh, head out of my bathroom, and I'm going to go to bed. Probably at some point get a text from your dad just to confirm, like, if you're coming home or not. Yeah, I give him, I give him, I give him an uncharacteristic, but, like reasonable like oh well you know i'm still recovering i don't want to travel too much i'm I'm used to traveling in a certain kind of way you know um, yeah some time away will do me good sounds good kiddo just let me know if you need anything of course um did you hear anything about the lightning guy that i messaged about oh yeah i forgot you texted him about that (laughs) i did i I didn't text him about my like actual like nightmare backstory (laughs) 
Phoenix is like, oh, I fed <laughs> Oh no, I have failed my son. My son? My son? He asked me a question. There's a text back. I knew a couple of people who had different like lightning and storm based abilities. Uh, what's this connected to? Oh, just something weird that happened when we were dealing with the fire. Our eye in the sky kind of mentioned some weather manipulation going on. Okay. I'll look into those reports and see. Maybe it's someone I know. All right. Thanks, Dad. No problem. You take care. I will. You too. What does Marcus dream about? (laughs) Oh, gosh. I want to say Marcus just dreams about falling through space. And it's like an actual nightmare of just like being yeeted by a 50s science rocket into the furthest reaches of the the solar system. (laughs) And wake up terrified. It starts out like very calm and pretty and then you realize you're getting farther and farther and farther. Yeah, <laughs> like Earth keeps getting further away and I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh god, it's just like the... And then I wake up and I'm flush with sweat like it was a really bad time. Ugh. And I think my my dream where the stopwatch was possessing me, I think it was also like some sleep paralysis because it was weird because it was like I couldn't move. Oh. Yeah. But in my dream, it looks all like black and white and pencil sketchy, and your dream looked all like golden age comic book. Yes. Oh yeah, I love that. That's actually perfect. I'm I'm big into that idea. That's very cool. That's that's a very fun visual, art style change. Yeah. And you both wake up the next morning after each having your own very hyper specific weird ass dreams. Yeah. yeah. And so begins another day at the Hero Institute. You have been listening to Queen City Supers, a graveyard tape side story using the game Masks. Masks A New Generation is a superhero role-playing game in which a team of young heroes fights villains, saves lives, and tries to figure out who they are. Featuring Caitlin as Madigan, aka Scarlet Sentinel, the Janus. Jess as Bethany Bertolucci, aka Glider, the Beacon. Ian as Marcus, aka Kid Phoenix, the Doomed. And Brianna Jean as the Keeper and Producer. 